don't agree that women shouldn't have the right to vote because of the draft. You believe the draft is ages 18 to 30, and you definitely think men over the age of 30 should have the right to vote, even if they are no longer in the age frame for the draft. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I think this is a debate that you're going to have with Andrew on this. So, um... I'm for preparing myself to lose, but... At least I'm preparing myself for you to win. <laughs> um, I guess, okay, so Andrew, then what is your... I mean, is your main point that women shouldn't be able to vote because they are not eligible for the draft or, like, they do not have to be signed up? No. My argument is very simple. That if women can vote but women cannot use the mechanisms of force against the enemies of the United States and only men can, then men can vote to send, or women can vote to send men to war. It's just the domain of war is always going to be men. If women have the power to send them to fight wars, that means that they can send them to fight wars on their behalf. Uh, and that is a great, uh, uh, I would say, immoral uh, position to take that you can have one elite group which does not have to fight wars send another non-elite group to fight them on their behalf yeah if, for instance we were to reverse this and i were to ask you from a racial lens if whites could vote to send black people to war but then themselves never had to fight in said war would you consider that to be moral no but then why would it be moral for women to be able to vote to do this. Great argument. Well, I mean, because I think, like, if a 75-year-old man, I think he should be able to have the right to vote. But, you know, he's not going to be... 75-year-old man can be drafted to go to war. After that great display from Andrew with the argument...